good morning. It is Wednesday, April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. I do not pull April Fool's jokes. Uh, they always go wrong, so don't expect any April Fool's from me. What I will be working on today, I got this one re-hand sanded. So the issue with this thing was uh, Yake had it hand sanded and buffed it. Uh, and because it's cross cut, you see all these little uh, spots in there that got completely full of green compound and I couldn't get it out by buffing and I couldn't get it out with WD-40, which usually breaks down the compound. It was really in there. So I re-sanded it back down. I, I put it back on the machine to about an 80. Um, got it all out, re-hand sanded it, repolished it with no compound, and we have a nice beautiful handle. So I will get a edge on that one today and get it into stock. And then I will be breaking vaudeville into two groups. I'm going to take uh, the slicer and then the three uh, smaller knives, and I'm going to work on these three, get these all the way to hand sand, because just working on all eight knives for whatever reason, um, maybe because there's just a certain level of background stress going on. Don't know. I haven't been able to get as far with this set as I wanted to, so I'm going to break them up and start doing different things on both sets to, to get them done faster, hopefully. Um, it's something I've done in the past and it's worked really well. Um, so I'm going to do that today, grab four of them, get them all the way through to hand sanding, maybe get some Kydex done for them, and be able to go on from there. Uh, so that is my day, and I will see everyone tomorrow. Have a good one. Good morning, it is Thursday, April the 2nd. I got all the vaudeville knives down to 120, uh, or up to 120, I should say. So they're all shaped, and spines are looking good. I've just started rounding the spines off, rounding off under here. Uh, did not get half of them to hand sand. Uh, what happened is that when you're grinding on 304, this bolster material, it gets really hot really quickly. And when you're only doing four knives, it basically gets so hot you don't want to work on them anymore. And I don't like dunking uh, knives at this stage in water. It won't hurt them, I just don't like doing it. Um, so I grabbed the other three, and so I worked on, on all seven of them, or eight of them, um, all the way through. So they're all at the same stage still, which is cool, um, and I should be able to get these all the way through to hand sanding now, um, and start some Kydex production for these as, as well. Um, so that'll be what I'm doing today, uh, go from 120 all the way up to 2000, and then if I have any time after that, I will start hand sanding. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Good morning, it is Friday, April 3rd. I will be hand sanding all day today. So I got all of these up to 600 grit, which is where uh, I, I stop for cleaning things up um, for hand sanding. And then I'll hand sand it up to 1000 grit and then clean it up again. And then keep going hand sand farther up to uh, 2000 grit. Uh, use one of the foam belts that we have to clean everything up again. Um, it just helps keep everything level and even uh, and then hand sand it all the way to 2500 and then buff these guys. So I will be hand sanding all day long. You can see this one. I've just started. So now the scratches that like on this one, you see how these scratches are going uh, this way. If you can see that, yeah, there, there you go. You can, you can see those scratches. And then we hand sand it and make sure all the scratches go, go the same way. And it also evens out that, that hard corner that's get, that gets created. Um, so really what the first part of hand sanding is doing is really just making it super comfortable. Because we have the J Flex belts, J Flex belts, we can get most of the corners off. But where that stops, we're still left with a little bit of a, of a hard edge. And when you hand sand, you can, you can take that off just literally with your thumb. Uh, with the, the sandpaper and really make it nice and smooth and comfortable in the hand. Um, so I will be doing hand sanding and kydex on these guys all day long today um, and we will see how much of that carries over to tomorrow because hand sanding 304 is one of the most time consuming things we hand sand. Um, so that is my day. Have a great one and see you to everyone tomorrow. Good morning, it is Saturday, April 4th. As opposed to showing you the progress I've made hand sanding today, what I want to do is just take some video of me hand sanding because I will be hand sanding all day uh, uh, today as well. So 
Uh, enjoy this little speed, speeded up version, sped up, sped up version of, of me hand sanding. And I hope you all have a great weekend and that you're staying safe. I will see you on Tuesday. Here it goes. Okay, and you'll see uh, after I get finish at 220, I buff this 304 just to make sure I've gotten all of the scratches that are going this way. I make all the scratches go this way. Uh, that's part of polishing. If polishing isn't the absence of scratches, it's having all of your scratches go the same way. So when you make it, like the scratches will be going up and down this way, right? And then we have to make them go this way. And so, I buff it just so I can see everything and make sure I got all of those scratches out and now I can go up to 400. Here we go.
is all buffed and cleaned up and ready for an edge. 